consumers are becoming more and more empowered. Uh, the balance of power is shifting away from companies toward consumers. And so if you want to have a successful company, you have to embrace that transition. And there are a lot of factors driving that transition. So you know, on the internet, word of mouth is very powerful. Everybody buys ink by the barrel. Um, and uh, in the, if in the old world, you might optimally spend 70% of your time, energy, and dollars on shouting about your products and services, and 30% of your energy on developing great services. I think that inverts in the new world. What, what do you do about people in your team if you're going to build an internet treasure? Well, in my case, I certainly um, hired, you know, we were growing very rapidly, and we, we hired people who are who are experienced operators in multi-billion dollar companies, and I made myself a student of those people. I now have 10 years of experience in a multi-billion dollar company, so I've been paying attention. But it's, it's uh, you know, I think that there are a lot of, when you go about building teams, and, and you know, John is being very humble here asking me this question, because John's been with Amazon for 13 of our 15 years, and he's the one who taught me that I need to go out and hire these very experienced operators. And we would have these 70 of phone calls where John would say, so, how is the hiring of the new CIO going? And we would walk through that plan and how many people I had interviewed that week. And, um, and you know, uh, that was, uh, it was actually very helpful to focus, you know, me as an entrepreneur, as a young entrepreneur on that. And so, but I do think building that team, and John famously says, teams win. Yeah, teams win. Yeah, teams win. Teams win. So that's, you know, it, that is clearly true. So I think you do have to, if you're going to execute well, you're going to get great people. Um, you got to have a good strategy and a good idea. I think strategic leaders have big ideas, and they, they have a few big ideas, and then they enforce tough execution against those big ideas. And if they have to figure out what they are. And they're different. Those big ideas are different in every business. So anyway, I don't think that's much of a recipe. I wouldn't try to follow it. I think people have their own paths, but because you inflicted me on this, inflicted this on me with no warning, I get to ask uh, uh, one additional question, which is: I would like to know from each of you if you could make one constitutional amendment, what would it be? Yeah. <laughs>